Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be upgrading this Mark 7 Golf R with a Stage 3 Turbo Upgrade. Now you might remember this car from some previous videos that we've done. Um, we've done upgrades on this, such as the um, Wave Track Differential in the front of the front gearbox. We've done the um, Verkline Suspension Upgrades on the front subframe, the rear subframe, the suspension arms as well. Um, it's a car the customer uses on like hill climbs and track days and things like that. Um, Brake-wise and suspension-wise, We've upgraded the suspension with like Bilsteins and then racing line big brakes as well. And if you want to see some more about all of those upgrades, then you can head to some of the other videos on our YouTube channel. And then um, today we're installing the racing line stage three turbo upgrade. So we're removing the factory turbo, installing the racing line stage three turbo, and also installing the stage three ECU room up as well. And the customer's already got racing line stage two and the dsg software on there already so it's a free software upgrade just pay for the hardware and the labor to fit um so this car last time it was in made about 385 horsepower so the first thing to do get the car on the dyno see how much power it makes now and then enjoy the install of the turbo and then you'll join us at the end of the video once we've um, installed the software uh, calibrated on the dyno and um, we're ready to go through some of the some of the figures with you so it should be making around 450 480 horsepower to see what it makes at the end Okay, so we finished off rolling road in the Mark 7 Golf R. We've got the results behind me. Um, so the red lines as the car arrived and the blue lines as the car has left us um, with these two lines here being the torque and then these two lines going up here being the horsepower. So just a reminder of the spec of the car. So the car is running racing line stage two ECU software, DSG tune with a downpipe and the full intake on the car as well. And it made quite healthy figures when it came in, made about 385 horsepower and about 584 new meters of torque. So quite a strong um, stage two car. And then the only change that we've made is put the Autotech high pressure fuel pump on there to deliver more fuel um because it's a high pressure fuel system so you install the um, autotech high pressure fuel pump and it can basically flow a higher volume of fuel to support the fuel requirements from the stage 3 turbo installed the stage 3 turbo from racing line and then uploaded their stage 3 software and the results are pretty incredible as you can see behind me so with any um, bigger turbocharger generally if you want to make more boost higher end of the rev range you're going to lose a little bit of low end um, sort of like response which is what you can kind of see here obviously the standard turbo spools up very quickly gives you a load of torque low down but then um, sort of like the mid to top end of the rev range above 4000 rpm it just slowly sort of dies off 
However, that's where the racing line stage three turbo comes in because the torque and also the boost basically flat lines from the mid range to the end of the rev range, which is where you get more horsepower because you've increased your torque there. So um, the headline figures now, we're looking about 480 horsepower and about 560 new meters of torque. So obviously a substantial amount of horsepower improvement, about 100 horsepower, down about 20 new meters at, at peak. However, everything past about 4,000 RPM is a massive gain the whole way to the rev range. And that's what you're gonna feel on the road because on the road, you're not just driving below sort of like 4,000 RPM all the time, and especially on track, which this customer drives a car on, he's gonna be in the upper end of the rev range as well. So yeah, quite a strong car, quite pleased with this result. Um, let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously if you enjoyed the video, then we really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.